Hello everyone and welcome back to my full note taking app course. Today we are going to be creating our note table view controller class and assigning it to our table view. So make sure your project is open. Click file, new, So make sure that your project is open. Right click on the notes folder and click new file. The new file will be a Coco Touch class. And the Coco Touch class will be table UI table view controller. And we will call it note table view controller so we know what it is. Next and create. Well, I'm just going to drag this right there. And what we're going to do first is we are going to delete a bunch of these comments because, as I said in an earlier video, they're a little bit distracting. This one, we will uncomment actually. Override func table view self a row at. We need that one. Uh, can edit row at. I believe we might need this one, so uncomment that one. and we will delete these last two comments. So we have shortened down everything to a really small amount of what we need. We will be adding in some more lines obviously, but for now that's all we need. So we're gonna start up here, make a little bit of space, we're gonna type in var notes is a array of note, which is our model. Next in our Next, we're going to create another variable called managed object context. And now this is actually not going to work until we import core data. There we go. Var managed object context is ns managed object context. And unwrap that. Return. We're going to return UI application dot shared dot delegate as app delegate. Oopsies, not UI application, app delegate. Right. Dot persistent container dot view context. This is our managed object context variable. So we are done with that, and we're going to go on to the view did load next. The only thing we need to do on our table view is a little bit of styles. I'm just going to add a little comment there. And type in self dot table view dot background color. We are going to set the background color of our table view, and it is going to be a UI color. And it's actually going to be an RGBA value, which I have right here. So I'm just going to select this all, copy it, and paste it, just like that. It's just an off-white sort of color for the background. After this, we are going to have a new one. We're going to call this override func view will appear. So this will be called every time this table view is loaded up. So first of all, super dot view will appear. And we're going to true. And under that, we'll type in the name of a function that we're going to create called the retrieve notes. And what this function will do is it will do exactly what it says. It'll, retri it'll retrieve. It will retrieve our notes from our data model. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go to the number of sections. We only have one section. And for the number of notes, and go back up here and just add that part and we don't need the semicolon. I got confused with something. Sorry about that but it's going to give you an error here because it doesn't exist yet. Just ignore that for now. 
And for the number of rows in the section, return notes, which does exist, dot count. So if we have five notes, the number of rows in the section will be five. That's just an example. Now, um, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to the cell for row at right here. I will make a little bit of space so we can have it in the center of the screen right there. So we have our let cell is table view dot to reusable cell with identifier. And for our identifier, we will make it the same as the class name, which will be note table view cell. We have not created this yet. We have not given an identifier to the cell yet. But that will be our identifier. So just make sure to copy this. Let's go to our main storyboard. And we just want to make sure that we have this. Just want to make sure that we have this as the reusable identifier for the cell. Just click on the cell, click on this sidebar right here so you can see it. By default, it'll probably already be there. And yes, it has our identifier. So let's go ahead and go back here. So we've got this. Next, we will add some code that will actually put information into it. So let note, which is note. Type note is notes which is our array index path dot row. So if the index path dot row of our cell is five, it'll take the fifth entry in our array. Now cell dot configure cell. This is the name of a function which we will be putting into our cell. It does not exist yet but we will be adding it as soon as we are finished with our table view. And I put in parameters note, note. Those are our parameters. And cell.backgroundcolor is going to be clear. We don't need to make these an off-white color because our background is already off-white, so we can just make that clear. Now the next thing we're going to do is can edit row at in at index path. That is already returned true, so this is all good. The next part, our um commit editing style. If editing style is delete, we're going to keep this the way it is. For insert, we are not going to need insert. So we can delete that. We only need delete editing style. We don't need the insert one. And after anything is deleted or edited, we always want to call this function table view, which is our table view dot reload data. We want to reload our data whenever we change something. So our table view is updated and our list is updated. And everything is good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the retrieve note, retrieve notes function. Funk retrieve notes. Funk retrieve notes. Just like that. And that is not fun, it is funk for function. And managed object context dot perform. And in here is going to be where we're going to be fetching our notes from core data. Now, it is going to take a long time if I type everything out line by line, so I might be copying and pasting things every now and then, just to let you know. So, type in self.fetchNotes from core data. And this is another function which doesn't exist quite yet, but we will be adding notes in and go to the next line if let notes is notes then self dot notes 
is notes and self dot table view dot reload data. We want to reload our data every time we update a variable or change our list or anything else like that. So just make sure that all of your parentheses and uh, squiggly parentheses that I don't know what they're called are closed. So this one needs to be closed right here, I believe. All right, I think that is correct. We will now go to the next line and we will type in our fetch notes from core data function. So func fetch notes from data, which is the function that we did not have. For the parameters, this is actually going to be a little bit different than um, the usual function. So we're going to delete that. We're going to delete this part right here. Um, that's not what I meant to do. You know what? We'll do it like this. Completion. At escaping. Array of note. and void. And we don't need a return type here, so we'll just delete all of that. And now we need to type in our function body. Our, for our function body, we're going to have another managed we're going to have another managed object context dot perform and before I forget this I spelled escaping wrong <laughs> make sure not to do that mistake and we are gonna create a var notes which is our basically the same as what we have above an array of note and let request is ns fetch request for note inside these triangle brackets is no dot fetch request. So this is our fetch request for the note. This is what we're going to use to exactly what it says fetch. It's requesting to fetch data from note, which is our data model. Then make a little bit of space and we're going to have a do try or do catch, which will catch any errors and we'll throw an error basically. So in do type in notes equals to try. We're gonna try this. Self dot managed object context dot fetch and for our fetch request it will be our request that we created at the top request. And also Completion will be notes. And for our catch block, we are just going to have a print statement, which I will copy into here. Or I will copy and paste into here because it's very simple. Print could not fetch notes from core data. And then we're just going to uh, write in our error and we're gonna make the formatting better on there and for now this is actually everything that we'll be doing in the table view when we add our cell and when we add our 
uh, main view controller, so the detail view controller, we're going to be adding a segue function, but that will be for later. Some of these still have errors, this one specifically, because we did not create our cell yet. So we will be doing that in our next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Check out more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.